Hey everybody, today I look at a Citizen Diver I got on Black Friday for only 144 bucks. I thought you already had one of- Shh, Watchbot, don't spoil the surprise. Whatever. So let's just get to opening the box. Here's the model number and stuff. Inside the box is this little plastic case. Citizen manual and warranty stuff. Hashtag my citizen. Hashtag who cares. Blah, blah. Yeah, enough with your hashtag. So it comes with this nice little plastic waterproof box. Top of the lid has a nice rubber lining. And here's the watch. It also comes with a second longer strap for wetsuits. So it's a 300 meter diver with the black dial and orange minute hand. Solar powered eco drive movement, and oddly, the crown is at the nine o'clock position. Not much on the hang tag, just the model number. Signed stainless steel buckle. So you may be wondering what happened to the wristwatch check. Well, it's the same watch. I'd put a link to it, but it would just be a never-ending circular watch review inception thing, as it would just link back to this video. Anyhow, there's a story involving Amazon. So I bought this watch a few days before Black Friday for what seemed like the best deal so far at $192. And I was pleased. Three days later, Black Friday hit and it dropped to 144. After talking to various Indian customer service guys at Amazon, That's crazy! Well, they were Indian, just saying. I was denied a refund of the difference in price. Well, fuck you, Amazon, I want my $50. So I rebought the watch at the new price and returned the $192 watch. Hey, I got free return shipping, so it doesn't cost me anything. Yeah, it's actually good this happened, as the original watch had some minor quality control issues with the alignment of the minute track and the case back. But the new watch is A-OK -okay and doesn't have those problems. So the watch has a wide strap with stainless steel hardware, and it's long enough for my huge wrist. The case itself is very heavy and thick over 18 millimeters tall. It's like having a metal hockey puck on your wrist. The case back is a very well done engraving of a dive helmet, along with some more information. I wish the case back aligned better on the back of the watch, but what can I expect for the money? Here's the wrist shot. Even with my 8 inch wrist, this watch dominates my arm and looks huge. Uh, also don't expect this to fit under a long sleeve shirt. 
Here comes WatchBot with the specs. The watch is 48 millimeters wide and can take a 29 millimeter watch band. Thanks, WatchBot. There are some eBay sellers who make an adapter for the 29 millimeter lugs to be able to take a standard 24 millimeter strap or bracelet. I mean, this seems like a good idea. I don't think I'll be doing that, but it's there if you want it. Here's the loom shot. I really like the blue loom, and it seems to hold its own against this green loom from a Seiko dive watch. So that's all I have for now. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.